What's up guys? Uh, so you guys have been watching me paint these metal panels and stuff. So let's go over how I get the metal prepped so that you could do this right at home yourself. Alright, so before we get started, I just want to go over with you guys exactly what metal we're working with here. So this is actually weld steel, so that means that you can actually weld to this, magnets will stick to it, it works really great for a lot of stuff. And this is 22 gauge weld steel sheet. This is a 12 by 24 inch, um, and you can get these at like Lowe's, Home Depot, stuff like that. I'll try to put a link down below if I can find it online, so that you guys could probably order it online. I just like going to the store and getting them though, because I like all the corners to be nice and neat. You know, because uh, a lot of times when you go to the store, you'll see them. A lot of these corners will be uh, bent or nibbed or whatever. So I like to go and pick the ones um, with the nicest uh, look. So that's what we're going to be working with. But let's go ahead and start getting it sanded. All right, guys. So I got the metal just on the table and stuff. Uh, so the first thing I always like to do right when I get these home is actually wash them off. Uh, they're going to have grease on them. All right, once I have my uh, panels all cleaned off um, and they're just nice and clean and it doesn't leave any oily residue on my hand anymore, I'm going to take my sander and uh, I'm going to use a 320, gear, 320 grit uh, sand sandpaper here uh, to rough up the whole entire surface. Uh, on a metal panel like this, I am trying to make sure to, to work on this flat table and try to keep this uh, panel flat without bending it, right, so that it stays nice and flat. So you got to be really careful with the metal. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sand it up uh, now that it's clean, um, and we'll go ahead and get that done. Alright guys, so as you can see, once we got it sanded, it's going to get a really nice, uh, almost like a shine to it, but not really because if you look finely at the surface here, you'll see all those little scratch marks <clears throat> from the sander, but it will work off any kind of little spots of surface rust or anything you kind of have going, uh, the sander will take that off. Uh, but that's kind of what you're looking for, you really just want the surface to have a nice broken up, scratched up surface uh, so that our primer or our uh, sealer, which we're going to lay, uh, will, will, will adhere uh, to this really good. So anyway, that looks really good. So we're going to get this panel up there so we can lay some sealer on it. All right, guys. <clears throat> so we have our metal all sanded up and, and ready for our primer or sealer. Um, but at this point, what we do want to do is wipe it off one more time with some uh, like degreaser, some kind of a cleaner degreaser. I like using, like you guys have seen me this uh, use the 7800 wipeout surface prep by High Tech. I've had just this thing just works, you know. I just look, I just use it on a rag, put it over there, wipe it on there, and it's it works really good. And that's all we're going to do is just wipe these off really good with some degreaser. And then we're going to let them dry up a good 15, 20 minutes, right? And we'll come back out here and they'll be ready for our sealer. And you really just want to let this uh, degreaser really kind of dry up off of there. Wipe it off really good. See all that stuff that comes off? That's just from the sanding and the extra just metal stuff you know so just try to get all that off of there see how dark that becomes
So I'm gonna let these dry off for a good 15, 20 minutes while I mix up the sealer and uh, we get ready to spray it on here. All right guys, so for these particular panels, I, I wanna use some transparent sealer. I wanna leave some of that metal uh, kind of background. So I just wanna lay some transparent sealer uh, to kind of seal in and so that our rest of our paint uh, that we're gonna lay on top will have something to stick onto. And we're gonna be using uh, quite a bit, so I'm just gonna use a mixing cup um, to show you guys. Now, the, what I'm gonna mix uh, will be, uh, you can apply it directly using an airbrush, or you could uh, apply it using a spot gun, uh, which is probably the way that I will apply it, um, just to make it quick and easy for myself. Um, but yeah, um, all I'm gonna do is take some of the transparent sealer and reduce it 10%. Um, nothing, nothing super special about this. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> let me just open this up. We'll throw it in there. I'll toss in some reducer, and we'll be good to go. So that was about that much. That's about 10%. Nothing too crazy about it. Uh, it doesn't have to be super exact for my personal results, um, just as long as you kind of get it uh, about right. Uh, the more reducer you add, it'll take longer to dry. Just note that. And you don't want to over reduce sealer uh, just because you do want it to stick. So it's better just to have it just about 10% just about and it's gonna get nice and milky and easy to mix. So I'm just gonna mix this up Get our little spray gun out we're going to spray it up uh, get my respirator on and everything and then yeah that's that's how we'll get the sealer on there all right guys um so i got my spray gun out and all i'm going to do is give it about two or three good coats um, with the sealer on it i'm going to give it about 10 to 15 minutes in between coats uh, to let the the coat dry um, and let it kind of air out a little bit before I go on and lay the next coat. Um, so, you know, all together this process is going to take about 45 minutes. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to put on my mask and everything, but put on the time lapse um, because otherwise we'd be sitting here watching this video forever. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the process. I'm just going to lay a nice, uh, quick and easy, um, you know, adhesion coat, let it dry, come back, lay a medium coat. Let that dry and then a heavy coat, let that dry 15 minutes to 20 minutes in between. Make sure it's completely dry before I lay another coat and it should be good to go. All right guys, so I've let this uh, sealer dry up overnight and uh, all I'm gonna do now just to get it ready for artwork or for anything that we're gonna do on this metal panel, I'm just gonna take our scuff pad or a sand pad and uh, just kind of sand it up. And on a fresh sealer like this, just a nice fine grit sand pad, yeah, it's gonna do just fine. Um, yeah, all I plan to do is lay some artwork, maybe some little graphics on here and whatnot but uh yeah you could do that with the black sealer the white sealer transparent sealer any of the sealers and uh i've had pretty good results and now the paint uh once we fine sand this down right once we hit it with the fine scuff pad it's going to be real smooth and because we have the sealer on there all our createx paint and uh all our layers of paint will stick on here really really well um so yeah Hopefully that helps you guys out. Hopefully uh, 
I know I had a few people ask, you know, how, how I got the metal ready, what, what did I do. Um, so yeah, that, that's kind of the process. And one of the most important bits is just make sure you get your metal nice and clean before you spray your sealer on. Um, because otherwise you're going to have lots of issues. So it's all about getting the metal nice and nice and clean. Yeah. So anyway guys, I'll get out of your hair. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, yeah. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.